What's up, Raj? Not tonight, Glass. Doing something different. Yeah, man, they're epic. Raj, I was playing it for, man, all I'm gonna say is it's epic. That jet is hard as fuck to fly, and it's finicky as fuck. <coughs> and it's hard to get the scramjet started. You have to be at like 80, 90, 100,000 feet before you can even activate the scram. <laughs> nice Raj, nice. What's up, the funny man? In a minute. Nice, congratulations. Don't forget to hit that like button, everybody. Yes, sir, Alex. Pyro to reset all the PC settings because it's been ages since I've done it. But uh, hopefully everything works out. It's all good. Everything happens in time. The funny man. Exciting in the honeymoon stage. Yeah, man, Raj, bro, I've been single for quite a long time now, and I was literally just thinking about it as he was saying that. I'm like, you know what? I don't even have any time or patience or effort for it. 
do once in a blue moon I'll talk to a girl for a message or two and then that's it and I'm just like alright I'm bored like I, I don't even want to fucking keep talking to you like but even that Raj like I don't even care about that like I, I'm just like whatever man like zero rush I have my eye on a few girls but like I'm not pulling the trigger on any of it <clears throat> because A I don't want to and B I don't want the headache down on the fucking power button, which I've done once before streaming this when I had 5,000 people watching, literally, <coughs> rebooted, came back to like five, 600. Oh yeah, buddy. Copy that. Raj, you're going to have to give me whatever the closest airport to you is and tell me what direction to fly. I'll fly over your house. Not with the dark star because it flies way too fast. I'll take a Cessna or something, but whatever the absolute closest airport, like even like a tiny airport is. I don't need international. done it with other people and I have my foliage and everything cranked up now before like you could barely like you can see like the shape of a house now like you can see a lot more detail I wish I could crank it to the max but all in due time for that I'm gonna need more RAM and likely a new motherboard and then on top of that like a 3070 Ti Are you doing mushrooms glass or are you talking like mushrooms like you just regular everyday mushrooms? Or are you talking like the fancy ones? The extra fancy. Oh, morel mushrooms, okay. Yeah, they're good. Bro, man, I can show you some good mushrooms, man. Saute them in some brown butter with some garlic. Oh, on point. I know what they are, bro. I know what they are. I love mushrooms. I know, right? It'd be funny glass actually doing like regular, you know, real shrooms. Not mushrooms, but doing the shrooms. <laughs> I've only ever done those a handful of times in my life, and the last time I did them, I had a bad head, and I never did it again. I could still envision that entire night. And that's like decades later.
I know, right? <laughs> He's like, I ate all the shrooms. I'm like, oh wow, he wants to go out on a bender. Yeah, the most I've ever had was two grams, and that fucked me up. Man, I imagine how. What's up everybody, Mad Love? Welcome back to the next episode of Seabass Plays. Appreciate y'all tuning in once again. We're doing something new and fresh again for first time in a long time. We're playing some flight sim, testing it on my PC with the uh, new upgrades that I've done. I really haven't touched them at all since I've done the upgrade on the PC, but Mad Love to everybody. Appreciate y'all tuning in, whether it's just a view, whether it's a like, share, donation, sub, membership, or more. Everything counts. Everything helps. And I appreciate y'all being part of the community. We're all about fun, positivity, and love. We're playing us some flight sim tonight. we got the beautiful t Honus right here ready to go. I wish I could put it all in camera, but unfortunately the angle I'm sitting in, the chair I'm sitting at doesn't allow that. But appreciate y'all tuning in once again. We're all about fun, positivity, and love. Let's get her done. All right. Let's see how well this works. Is working so they have a bunch of new missions on this um, I was going through a bunch of stuff getting warmed up and reacquainted so basically you've got on the landing challenges there's a whole shit ton of brand new ones like just tons and tons we'll go through those after Then we've got what Raj wants to see, this. And then they've got some other stuff. I actually did this earlier. I did a takeoff because that's the original airport from the original flight sim. When it was like green lines and green, just like green screen. Like I played this on a green screen in like 1989. And yeah, needless to say, the game was a lot more primitive than it is now. It was like... Yeah, the sound of the propeller is like it's like all right that's the sound of a propeller i guess but anyways uh yeah the game has gone a long way but we're gonna start it off with this got some challenges i've done some already earlier getting warmed up i finally figured out how to fly this fucking dark star max speed only uh <laughs> Roger, all I'm going to say is they've literally mapped nearly every single tree on the... Ex like, I'm not shitting you. They have mapped every tree on the fucking planet. Unless it's a little tiny sapling that can't be read by satellite, then yeah, they've mapped the entire fucking globe. Every single building, every single house is on this. Unless it's a restricted area, you know, government, whatever, then it doesn't show up, but that's it. But even Area 51 is on here. But yeah, bro, they got everything. So, this is what I did earlier. Uh, this stratospheric flight. This took me 45 minutes to do. I'm going to do that here in a second, but we're going to start with the carrier landing. I haven't touched any of these other ones yet. Carrier landing took me a couple of tries, but... We'll start with the F-18, and then we're going to go to this for my boy, Raj. Wells, Maine. All right, copy that, Raj. 
This is what you want. I can get it here, but then it goes back up, and then it goes back down. And I've had some good landings, and I've had some down here where it's like, you have to hit power, and you're too low, and then you come up over the top, and it's like, just go around, and you go to go around, it's like, nope, mission over. But, yeah. All cockpit view, baby. All cockpit view. Yeah, I won't be flying that over your house because that thing goes way too... Like, you got to be going really fast. You won't even have a chance to see anything. Like, to take off, you're doing, like, fucking 250. Alright. Let me pack a quick burl. Get my pre-landing uh, burl in. Oh, it's already packed. Look at that. Fucking right, Rod. Next one after the very first flight simulator ever, they had soft with camels, with bombers and like machine guns, but uh, yeah, like even that was ridiculously hard to fly. Even the most minor adjustments, like, that's a thing flying planes like this. There's no, like, it's not like flying, yeah, I'm, I'm coming in good, but I'm still a little high. Right there. We're good, we're good. No, nope, low. Okay. Should be good. No, nope. miss. That's gonna reset me. I was really hoping to get that on the first one. <clears throat> All right, Pyro, you need to fix the audio. That's why I'm saying the audio isn't working. So Pyro, fix the audio. Let me see if I plug in my headset, if it makes a difference. I think if I just plug in the one, I should be good, because I'm not plugging into anything else. Give me a second. plugged in now maybe that'll make a difference The infinite screen. <laughs> See if the audio's fixed now. It's been a while since I played PC, so you have to forgive me if it takes a few tries. I'm disappointed I didn't get that. I had three now I don't hear it.
Yeah, we're gonna have to tinker with this, but man, the audio is horrible right now for me. This is almost intolerable. My engine's stuck in it like wow, 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 wow. Yeah, the audio is horrible. I'm not using this on a plug-in. The only other thing I could do is plug the other end into this, which doesn't seem to do much of anything. figuring it out yeah I, I figured I was going over too but man like the thing screaming too high 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 and I'm like oh shut up <sighs> like I said it's been a while since I've uh, played this so we gotta tinker here for a minute with the audio and I don't even know if I should be plugged in because I remember the last time I wasn't plugged in and everybody could hear everything Hold on, Pyro. Pyro says, should be using desktop audio in OBS. I'm not using OBS anymore. I'm using, uh, or yeah, no, sorry, I am using OBS. Should be using desktop audio in OBS. Ready, Raj? This thing is really, like I said, it's not easy to fly this fucking thing, and they're very finicky about, like, you have to keep certain altitudes and, like, Gs and angles and, like, so a lot of the time I'm just inside the plane looking at the gauges to make sure I'm on point on everything. And also, 
it's really easy to veer off track of where you're going. So basically, when I did this earlier, it took me 47 minutes. So 12 minutes extra, but uh, yeah, that was like my second time ever flying the fucking thing. So now it's working. You guys hear the audio? Woo! You ready, Raj? <laughs> All I'm going to say is when I when once I get to like certain areas, I'll go external so I can show you what it looks like. But when you're doing like Mach 9.5, Mach 9.2, like the whole outer skin is glowing red. And look, we're at China Lake <laughs> in the USA. <coughs> The only thing is, like, they get you to fly over to Cape Canaveral, but it's, like, at 120,000 feet. And I'm thinking, oh, I'm going to be seeing the spaceship go by. There's nothing. You just fly over, and then it's like, all right, start coming in for your landing. I was so nervous coming in for my landing, man. I was like, man, I only got one shot at this. flip some switches over here I have to flip this switch <coughs> flip this switch it's it's pretty sick I'm not gonna lie all right Yeah, it's not letting me, Pyro. Put it on full screen for me. You see the fumes coming out the back? push something. It's all good. He's putting me on full screen. <clears throat> Roger's like, let's go, baby. Yeah, we started, and then Pyro messed it up by trying to put me on full screen, which broke my landing gear. <laughs> Fuck. Close enough to full screen. Try that again. 
<laughs> Rod was all pumped that it's like, boom, you broke your landing gear. It's like, no, nah, it's just because he was moving the mouse around. <clears throat> I couldn't pull up in time. <laughs> Raj. <coughs> yeah, this is definitely an endurance flight. Maintain my 10% pitch. Maintain Mach 0 0.9. And maintain the GPS heading. Yeah, exactly. We're just going to give you side windows. And you got the screen in front of you, so you're good. Maintain 1G, but you gotta pitch down to 20 degrees, so I'm just gonna get down to 20 and then maintain 1 from there. Slowly pull up. Point two G's, ten degrees. I'm doing much better than I did the first time. I'm doing way the fuck better than I did the first time. There we go. Maintain 10 GPS heading. See, now I'm off GPS by 150 miles. And that's the thing the faster you go, the easier it is to get off. Maintain a 10% pitch, maintain GPS, and hit Mach 3. Now I just gotta hit Mach 3. Oh, 
Oh look, watch. Oh, it's not doing it now, but you hear the sonic booms? Why am I not increasing speed yet? That's because I'm not at a high enough altitude. But yeah, I'm 137 miles off the track, but I'm coming into it, so I'm just going to keep it steady. And it keeps slowly veering right every so often. So the distance that it's telling me is to the next waypoint where it's going to turn a little bit more right. Okay, I got a 10% pitch. Why am I not going? Come on. The only thing I can think is my afterburner is not on. Yeah, my afterburner was off. That's why. I'm like, man, it's taking forever. I should be speeding up by now. I'm just going to let it sit steady, pick up speed. Actually, I need to go higher. Yeah, no, I got to go way the fuck higher. The, the thinner the air, the faster it'll go. This is really weird that it's taking me this long to get up there, though. I'm only doing Mach 1. I want to see this thing in action already. I'll put it in a slight dive. gonna take me forever to get to where I'm going that's all there I got the speed going up now so it should just keep climbing now Engine 3 and Engine 4 are the scramjet. I can't turn it on until I hit Mach 3. But we're good now. It's accelerating, so it'll pick up. I can't turn it on until I hit Mach 3. It won't enable otherwise. But we're picking up speed now. Like, it'll pick up now. I gotta get my altitude way up, though. I'll keep it right there. I know to turn those engines on, but you can't. Those are the scram engines. We're getting there. We're on Mach 2, baby. Watch. I know they're not going to turn on right now. We're nearly there. Now I gotta see my heading and how far I'm off. 
Okay, we're closing into it. Mach 4.63, baby. 10 degree pitch. Mach 5.6. Starting to get red hot, baby. Look at her. Look at the skin. Look at that glow. She's fucking red hot, baby. And yeah, there's no nothing. Like, all you hear is the wind. All right, we gotta get that altitude down. I'm way high, way higher than I've ever wanted to be. Like you can see the fucking curvature of the earth. I'm way higher than I want it to be. Okay, we got to get our altitude down. I'm way off course. You see how far off course I am? Turn right and go to the moon. <laughs> Like, I'm holding it all the way forward right now, and yeah, it takes forever to catch back up when you're at this altitude. You gotta be between 115 and 125. That would be so sick. up the speed here because I want to finish this. 
the faster I go, the easier it is to get there. But now I got to make sure I'm going on the straight course and I'm maintaining my altitude. So now it's just like little movements with the base of my hand. I got to get some altitude though. I've had the VS hover. I can get it to hover once I'm like finding a good zone, but. See, like, I can get the VS to, like, hover right there, but I gotta be higher up. And now I'm off my GPS heading. What am I at? Zero, yeah, I'm supposed to be at zero nine zero, I think. There's no autopilot on this shit. Alright, I'm about to pay, pass Cape Canaveral, I think. Cape Canaveral. It's another 300 miles. Too low. No, I'm I'm good. Anything between uh, one one five and one two five is good. There, I found the sweet spot. It's really hard because you gotta finesse it by like a millimeter or two, like. When you're trying to keep it like this, where like it's as even as possible, like I'm finessing it by like a millimeter. I'm off GPS. thing I like though is look you can like I can go like this and I can zoom in on whatever I'm looking at and like it's pretty sick I'm not gonna lie Cape Canaveral coming up in 175 seconds that's as time to pack a bowl Now I'm too low.
pause that for a millisecond while I pack this so I can keep myself straight and level. Ah, uh, not tonight, Hookset. Playing nothing but flight sim, brother. Changing it up. Plus, testing out my PC since I did some upgrades. Seventy-five seconds. She's a beaut. Trying to drop the landing gear to look at it right now because that'll end my mission. I can't believe I still haven't reached Cape Canaveral, but there we go, heading 100.
I already hit when my plane was red hot. That's when I hit Mach 9. But yeah, after this, I'll take it out on a regular run. And push it to the limits. The highest I've had it was like Mach 9.6. No, it would have told me. Like, it, it looks like it's another 234 miles. But, uh, yeah, I'm off heading now. I'm literally steering with my finger. Like, I'm just... It's easier to steer with a finger for minor adjustments than to steer with the fucking whole controller. constantly having with this like it's not it's a fun plane to fly because it's fast but like you don't really get to enjoy it when you're on a mission because you got to pay attention to everything like my altitude my my climb rate my fucking direction like everything they make this a hard mission that's all i'm gonna say There's no just letting it fly on its own. You gotta be constantly finessing it. It's a stressful plane to fly. Alright, we got 90 seconds. Yeah, 90 seconds, give or take. Yeah, it looks like Cape Canaveral's right up ahead. Or not. Now I'm way too high because I wasn't paying attention. It's alright.
No, not Cape Canaveral yet. Another 400. Almost broke the jet right there, pulling back too hard. I'm going hella fast, though. Wow, I almost did it again. At least we're clear in record time. Alright, I need to climb now. No, I haven't passed it, trust me. It takes a while. You keep thinking, oh, it's this one, it's this one. It's not. It'll be this check. Yeah, it's going to be this check one. I can already see it because you see the seaboard right there. It's this one up here. And then we start to come in for landing. Like, you literally have to pull the stick back like a millimeter to get it, like, right where you need it. I'm off GPS. I don't know why they have you do this at 120,000 feet. I'm constantly looking at all the numbers and like readjusting. It's just like, man, like I definitely want to take it out for a free flight. Far am I? 120 seconds. Uh, 
Oh, god damn, Raj. I can, but only at uh, certain altitudes and certain peaks. I have it at, like, full throttle right now. Even though it only says 68. It says 60, but it's... It's at max, there. What the fuck? Oh, and I fucked up. <laughs> Trying to make it go faster for Roger. I don't know what the fuck I did, but whatever. Another day I'll finish that, because I'm not restarting that. Because I have to do all of that and get back to that point just to fucking, yeah, anyways. All right. Yeah, overstressed the aircraft. As soon as it flipped, I was like, I'm fucked. You're not supposed to be flipping at that speed and that altitude. What's your closest airport? Uh, <laughs> I haven't even seen that. That's new. That's just for those kinds of planes. <coughs> uh, I haven't even taken the helicopter out. Kind of want to. This one? That can't be it. Yeah, no, that's definitely not it. Where is it? Sanford Regional? That one, wait. Okay, yeah, no, that is the right one, okay. There you go. 
I haven't flown the helicopter on this. It's been years and years and years since I've flown the helicopter. And that was on like flight sim like FSX way back when on a shitty laptop. Had to do that again. No sense doing it in the nighttime. Can't see shit. This should be fun. Interesting, Raj. All right. <coughs> Looks like the wind is blowing to the right a bit. This is sick with the chopper. It's not a fast vehicle, but you can hover. Isn't it the mountains right there? Or those mountains? Those mountains way back there? Too much throttle. Portland approach. 
approach Alpha Sierra X-ray Golf Sierra is type 1 mile southeast of Kilo Sierra Foxtrot Mike 800 feet. Request flight following. Alpha Sierra X-ray Golf Sierra Portland approach. Squawk 0372. Squawk 0372 X-ray Golf Sierra. X-ray Golf Sierra radar contact 1 mile southeast of Kilo Sierra Foxtrot Mike 800 feet. Okay, to the right. Okay. Roger, X-ray Golf Sierra. Man, choppers are a lot harder to fly. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm trying to get it going at a good clip, and I've only got the throttle at half right now. It's really hard to keep it like steady and level. I don't want to gain too much altitude, but I want to get speed, but like. Copy that. I'll be watching for it. It's really hard to find the sweet spot on the throttle. Number one pond on my left. There. the airspeed way up. Man, I more than doubled my airspeed. Now I can increase my throttle to match it. There we go. Now I'll pull it back a bit. So which way do I go, Raj? Back in a bowl first. I'm surprised there's no missions with the choppers yet, which really surprises me. I definitely want to try that other fucking weird looking jet out though. Looks like it's from fucking Halo.
What direction is it from your house to the airport? That's all I need to know. The airport's right there. That lake right there. So airport's right there. What's up, woke? Hell yeah. West from house. West to my house from airport. Alright, so I was going the right way. It's behind me. I'm going to get some altitude right now. I've got this thing almost maxed out on speed. I'm in some big gusts. You're only a mile from the airport? way too far then. I'll fly back and then we'll go from here. I'll follow the main road. You gotta be along this strip somewhere. Alright, you know what lake this is, right? Which way am I going? Am I going the right way or do I turn around and go the other way? Do I go behind me or do I go the other way? Alright, I'm going to keep going.
Blast. So that's the river you're talking about? Okay, that's where I was, but I'll keep going. You're not playing Warzone. <laughs> I don't know why it always keeps pitching up, even if I keep the nose all the way forward. Let me get some altitude. Bob and we, Bob and we. They don't look like mountains once you get to them. I see some sort of like field down there. I'm down the hill a bit, okay. Coming up to it. I gotta be coming up to it now, Raj. Here? You live in that fucking castle? this. Oh, this is hella fun with the chopper.
where you live in this one right there. That's your house? Bass coming to visit you with the chopper. Close enough, but not mine. All right. This house back here? The building definition when you're in the cockpit is so much better. Oh, not, okay. This one. Coming to visit you, Raj. Your house looks a little dilapidated, I'm just saying. <laughs> So that's yours, right? <laughs> so not this one. It's this one behind me, this one? Which one? More right? The one down at the bottom? I don't know how to turn my shit back on. There we go. I think I gotta restart my engine. start this engine. Oh, it's firing back up. I think.
So the house back here. I have no clue how to restart this fucker. Oil pressure is down. Cabin lighting. Magneto. Yeah, I've never... Okay. Um, control E. So the one that's right over here, this one, I'm assuming that's your house right there and that somebody has the adjoining house interesting so that's the house and then that's your garages Gotcha, gotcha. 
<laughs> I bet you never expected me to land a chopper right in front of your house on flights. And I like this chopper option, though, because normally I get to buzz around and I can only look from above. But, yeah, this is pretty sick. Captain Seabass here. About to rip another burl. Just chilling out in front of Raj's house, waiting for him to get in. Come on, Raj, hurry up. We gotta go, man. We're going to the strip club. Land on top of the. Yeah, I know, it's not an even surface. I've done mine on the I've done mine on here before. <coughs> the last time I played it. Um, I'll do it again sometime soon. I'm just trying to think. I got some other missions I want to do right now, some landings. Man, that rotor goes forever unless you hit the brake. Oh, look, it's pitch. Oh, okay, that's kind of cool. You see how it pitches the angle as I put it up and down on the throttle? Do a little wave. Do a little dance. Make it love. Get down tonight. That's kind of cool. I've never noticed that before. I mean, I know it did it, but I've never seen it like that. All right. See if we can do a little acrobatics. Whoa, man, it's not for everybody, but I play games that I like to play sometimes too, man. It's actually a really fun game, but it's not, it seems like it's stupid, but it's, I've got all my settings to max level, like, if you do anything to fuck up, you die or you crash. Gives you wings. Come on, get that speed up. Exactly what you should never be doing in one of these.
Oh shit, we're dropping, baby. We're dropping fast. <laughs> All right, back to main menu. Well, that was fun. Got to see your place there, Raj. There you go, Woke. Is this a little more exciting? Yeah, the crash effects. I mean, you could. There's like add ons that you can do on PC to like make it look more realistic. You know, plane breaks apart and there's fire and whatever, but. All right, give me a minute. I'll free fly Dark Star. Just give me a minute. Man, they're just saying go. Normally it says, okay, click fly. There you go. All right. You're like, man, fly helicopters boring as shit. It's not just helicopters, man. I was just testing that out because it's the first time I flew it on this. And I wanted to be able to land or like buzz around what I wanted to see. Where we needed to go without having to keep flying circles and just looking at it while you're flying. I guess I've got to be flying as low as possible. <clears throat> Kick the afterburners in. Yeah, this is pretty intense, all right. They have the actual, like, mission on this from fucking Ta or the Maverick. Like, the actual flight through the whole everything. So, yeah, that could be interesting.
I like seeing the external, but I like being inside. This would be sick with the VR headset, and this is fully VR compatible. run a little bit off track but that's all right I like that that's that's actually pretty fun but yeah this in VR oh man I've seen videos of it it looks amazing This is the one that they did in the movie. I kind of want to do another one before I do. Yeah, I'm going to do one more before I do a fucking free flight. Low altitude to score high. Time 306, average altitude 4000. All right. Back this bowl, but yeah, this, this shit's actually pretty fun. I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, like the littlest movements, it's like you're finessing the plane the whole fucking time. There's no sitting around on autopilot. Although it does have autopilot, but. altitude of the dark star we'll see how high we can get it yeah man for sure bro sick that they've added this kind of shit.
Emperor is on, baby. Well, I'm restarted. drop bomb sadly no <clears throat> although there's probably an uh, add-on or something you can do that with Must be off track. Well, I don't know what's causing it to lag out like that. Yeah, it's lagging bad right now. room to take off on that runway. try this but I'll, I'll take the dark star out for you Try the new one, try the new one. Just hold on, hold on. That'd be sick to fly around or just land on with the helicopter. Does he have a glider there? Yeah, he's got a glider. I haven't even tried the glider zone on this. Since I don't have any direction to do, I'm just gonna get the speed up.
Squawk 7373, Experimental Delta Kilo Sierra. <laughs> Why fire off? Roger experimental Delta Kilo Sierra here. We're just keeping Mach 96 for now while we gain altitude. Should I pull it? <laughs> Experimental Delta Kilo Sierra contact New York Center on one tree tree decimal one five. Good day. One tree tree decimal one five experimental delta kilo sierra. New York Center Experimental Alpha Sierra Delta Kilo Sierra Flight Level 375. Experimental Alpha Sierra Delta Kilo Sierra New York Center Continuous Plan. Both engines are at a hundred. That should be how you turn on your fucking afterburner. Okay. Max, ma yeah, you gotta go up and then you go down and then you go back up. That's how you get that. I'm gonna do a dive and get my speed up. Experimental Delta Kilo Sierra. New York Approach Experimental Alpha Sierra Delta Kilo Sierra Flight Level 255. Experimental Alpha Sierra Delta Kilo Sierra New York Approach Continuous Plan. Experimental Delta Kilo Sierra Contact Allentown Approach on 124.45. Well, we're getting ready to activate the scram. What's up, Sheila? There you go, Raj. Allentown approach experimental Alpha Sierra Delta. Ah, oh, no! That's all right. That's what happens when you push it too hard. But by the time I heard the beeps, I couldn't do anything. And I was literally about to flip the scramjet. It's because I was going down to too fast still picking up speed i should have been like right when i hit like two two and a half that's when i need to level out wait till it picks up and then i kick it in and then you keep it level and then go all right Okay, I 
pulled up too hard or I put Getting as much altitude as I can right off the start. Yeah, I'm going up, up, up. Altitude, baby. Experimental Alpha Sierra Delta Kilo Sierra frequency change. New York Center Experimental Alpha Sierra Delta Kilo Sierra is type experimental dark star two miles west of Kennedy, 5,400 feet. Request flight following. Experimental Alpha Sierra Delta Kilo Sierra New York Center. Squawk 6125. Squawk 6125 Experimental Delta Kilo Sierra. Experimental Delta Kilo Sierra radar contact 4 miles northwest of Kennedy flight level 195. Roger Experimental Delta Kilo Sierra. Put it on the charger, Rog. Get the speed up. Aim it right there. Here comes the scram, baby. There you go, Raj. Mach 3.63 so far. And now we're gonna climb. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, I don't know why I keep blowing it up. Four. But yeah, it's because I'm not following what they're telling me to do on how to fly. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's a really finicky fucking jet, man. Alright. Uh, world map. Let's 
take this fucking thing out. Why can't I fly it? Well, what's, what's going on? Ah, uh, that's why. Nice, Alex. Man, I love to the eight people watching. Kennedy Tower Delta seven seven Tango Charlie ready for straight out departure at runway tree one left. Yeah, I don't even know how to fly this, but okay. Welcome to Halo, boys. Oh, that's sick. Fuck this thing takes off. I'm assuming it's vertically. Okay, yeah, this. Like, wh flight simulator, why? I mean, I love it, but. The sounds that it makes. Kennedy Tower Delta seven seven Tango Charlie frequency. Where's the city? New York approach Delta seven seven Tango Charlie is type one mile southeast of Kennedy two thousand feet. Request clearance to transition Bravo airspace. Yeah, the sounds that this thing makes. Squawk six three six three. Squawk six three six three. Tango Charlie. Tango Charlie radar contact one mile southeast of Kennedy 2300 feet. Cleared through the Bravo airspace. Yeah, it's, it's pretty dull. Cleared through the Bravo airspace. Tango Charlie. Charlie. I'm trying to get to the city. Tango Charlie, you are leaving my airspace. Radar service terminated. Squawk 1200. Frequency change approved. Squawk 1200. Frequency change approved. Tango Charlie. New York Center Delta 77. Tango Charlie is tied two miles southeast of Kennedy 4600 feet. Request flight following. Delta 77. There's got to be a way to like flip my engines the other way so they all go one direction. Squawk seven five five seven seven Tango Charlie. Tango Charlie radar contact. Oh, there we go. Cruise mode. Altimeter two nine or decimal nine or two. Roger. Tango Charlie. New York Center Delta seven seven. Okay, now it's on cruise mode. Request clearance to transition Bravo airspace. There we go. Oh Delta shit. 7, 7, 7. Tango Charlie, New York Center. Cleared I guess there's the a top speed. Cleared through Bravo 
Bravo airspace. Tango Charlie. This is sick. And the fact I knew there would be a way, I'm like, there's no way it only goes that one speed. Going to one tree four decimal tree five. Tango Charlie. New York approach Delta seven seven. Tango Charlie three thousand six hundred feet. I don't even know where I am. Tango Charlie, New York approach altimeter two nine or decimal nine or two continuous plan. Tango Charlie. Okay, it looks like the city's over here. The creaks and like the moans that this thing makes is sick. Alright, put it on cruise control. This is what I want. <clears throat> Flip it over to hover mode. New York City, baby. No, it's not a real plane. It's just some plane that they put on here. It le it definitely looks like it belongs on Halo. It's got to be a Halo plane. that you can flip it from over to fly. I don't know what bridge is these. Oh, we got Brooklyn Bridge, baby. That looks like Brooklyn Bridge to me. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's Brooklyn Bridge. I've seen condos being sold with the view right there of this bridge. Yeah, that's Brooklyn Bridge. The creaking this thing makes, man. Pretty fucking easy to fly though. I think that's Rikers Island right there, if I'm not mistaken. We got all the helipads, the New York helipads are right there. Yeah, that's all the helipads. Pretty sure this is Rikers Island. We'll go see the Statue of Liberty here in a minute. I 
could be wrong. That might not be Rikers. Although it kind of looks, yeah, I think it is. I don't know, maybe. I don't know all the islands that well. Go under the bridge? All right, give me a minute. We're gonna go see the Statue of Liberty first. What's up, honey? Boop! Boop! They even have like... Wow, they did good detail on that. I'm, I'm quite amazed. Alright, next up. I see Manhattan, but like I don't see all the the buildings standing out the way they normally should be. Maybe that's Rikers. Yeah, that's Rikers right there. 100%. That's Rikers Island. Oh yeah, 100%. That's Rikers. Oh, that was close. That was close. But yeah, all the main buildings that are right here that are supposed to be in the downtown. I I don't understand. Maybe I'm missing something. It's the Hudson River where the huts are where the plane landed. need to be, I guess. Yeah, Central Park and everything. Okay, there we go. Alright, we got, alright, we got, uh, what is that again? The Empire State Building right there. Yeah, that's the Empire State, 100%. Go to Billionaire's Row. Oh yeah, they even got Billionaire's Row. Look, they even got the skinny ass fucking... Wow. $250 million penthouse. Can you imagine living there and this pulls up outside your window and they're just staring at you? Yeah, look, they got the skinny ass billionaires row building. I can't believe that's updated into this. They don't have the square one, but they've got this one. I 
it's not at the right altitude, though. That can't be the right building. No, 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 don't crash. It's really reactive in terms of, like, you tell it to do something, it does it. But yeah, could you imagine living in that building and this guy's just looking at you outside the window and it's like, hey, what's up, buddy? Good old Central Park. If you don't turn it at all, you can keep your speed, but as soon as you turn it, it just drops everything. New York City in a glimpse. Copy that. Copy that. Tell me what your closest airport is. Find the code for it, Nikki. Go to Melbourne. I can do that, too. I like this more than the chopper. Way easier to fly and faster. Alright. Uh, well, let me break this and then I'll reload into a new airport. See how high this thing can go. Oh, let me kick afterburner in. Oh, that's how I switch back and forth. Okay. Good to know. knots. Okay, we're cruising, baby. No. Nope. Boom. Yeah, look up the letter code. EDI? What's up, Alan? Mad love. Yeah, they were for a while. We're on a little bit of a lull right now, but mad love. Appreciate you being here. What direction am I flying? Just tell me what direction to fly, Jared. What direction is your place from the airport? General. East, south, west, north, or something in between.
Which direction am I flying? From here. I just need to know what direction to fly. I'm at Melbourne already. I'll do you next, uh, Nikki. I guess you can't take off like that. Alright. Tango Charlie leaving my airspace frequency change approved. Melbourne Tower Delta 77. Tango Charlie frequency change. Melbourne approach Delta 77. Tango Charlie is tied 2 miles south of Melbourne, 1,700 feet. Request clearance to transition Charlie airspace. Melbourne 77, Tango Charlie, Melbourne approach. Squawk 4776. Squawk 4776, Tango Charlie. Tango Charlie, radar contact 3 miles west of Ascendant. <laughs> nice. Which way? Am I going the right way? Charlie airspace. Tango Charlie. Yeah, it is a ginormous city. It's just endless buildings, as far as the eye can see. And it's crazy because Australia is mostly uninhabited. What bridge is that?
is a cricket field. They wow, the sign what? The sign actually changes in here. Marvel Stadium. Does this stadium actually exist? Wow. And they've got Bet365 in here. What? And Emirates Air. And a TV that actually changes. Alright, which direction do I go to get to you? Oh, and look! Melbourne approach Delta 777. Tango Charlie is type six miles. Look on the side back there, it says four twenty. Request flight following. Delta seven seven. Tango Charlie Melbourne approach. Squawk four five four two. Squawk four five four two. Tango Charlie. Yeah, man. Tango Charlie radar contact six miles south. By the MCG, I don't know what that is. That building was cool though. Roger, Roger. Tango Charlie. That building was wild. The top of it is so skinny. Request clearance to transition Charlie airspace. Delta 77, Tango Charlie Melbourne approach. Cleared through the Charlie airspace. Cleared through Charlie airspace. Tango Charlie. Go south. Yeah, I saw the bigger stadium. Is this Wembley? No, wait, that's in England. Never mind. Oh, this is definitely a cricket stadium. Whoa. I don't know what happened there. I guess this isn't a real place to land. Unlike the other one, but they got the Bet 365, the Emirates, Gatorade. The Skybox or the announcer or whatever. Ah! I guess I'm doing, uh, whatchamacallit next, his airport. My boy, Nikki. I'm not getting on that tonight, David. EGPH.
Hell yeah, Jared. We'll do that again sometime, man. Next time, I'll fly right to where I need to. Any other cool UFOs? Let me see. I'll take a look after this one. Are you still with us, Nikki? You gotta guide me. Otherwise, I'm just flying around aimlessly. That'd be sick. I know there's add-ons. Like, people have made add-ons of shit that Microsoft has never made or never will, but... You gotta pay for that shit. And I already paid nearly 200 bucks for this to get the premium one, so I can get all these add-ons for free. Down the road, not have to pay for them ever. The ones that they include, anyways. Tango Charlie. I don't even know where that is. Yeah, Raj, this one's for you. are operative. I don't know where I'm flying to. Show that belly. Edinburgh approach Delta 77. Tango Charlie is type 3 miles west of Edinburgh, 3,200 feet. So anytime you turn it, you get that sound. Delta 77. Tango Charlie. Where am I going, Nick? No throttle on at all right now. This thing is great for coasting. Hey, what's up, Smoke? Looks like a fun island. Break the landing gear off. <laughs> There's another chopper. I didn't even see that one, but good to know. 
definitely goes a lot faster and probably be easier to fly. I haven't flown that yet. I haven't flown that yet. It's a tail dragger. The Grumman, I've flown that, but not that one. That's, oh wow. Okay, yeah, we gotta try that. The rest of them are just like, yeah, all right, looks kinda cool, whatever, but. That one, okay, we got a volocopter. It's a helicopter that's a fucking plane. So yeah, I'm gonna try the Big Bertha here first. <laughs> nice. This should be interesting. I wish I could figure out how to do all the views. Like, that's something I gotta figure out how to... Because you can go into, like, the passenger view and be, like, looking out the passenger window in the back. All, uh, glass. I'll check that out next. Oh, it's just going to start me in the air. November X-ray tree 7602 is tied to Hughes H4 Hercules 4 miles northwest of Pittsburgh 7,000 feet. Request clearance to transition Charlie airspace. Hughes November X-ray tree 7602 is for approach. Holy fuck. Woo, look at that. Did I take her with any of the shit back here? Charlie Airspace U602. Wow, this thing is wild. It's so primitive and so like. Okay, big square for flaps. What's this? That's throttle, but what's this white one? Alright, I guess I can't access it. Man, this is a big Bertha. Left float. Oh, there we go. Oh, it turns all of them on. Anchor light? I don't know why that's not inoperative, but alright. Flare release? Interesting. I couldn't even imagine flying a plane like this. I didn't even realize I was turning, but that's good because I want to go to that body of water. I just want to land this thing. Got the old telephone there. I know, right? The takeoff in this? Yeah, I'll try it. I'm pretty sure this is a water-only plane. Since it's basically a replica of the, uh... That plane way back when. I can't remember the name of it. The Goose something. down, laps down again,
But I'll try to take it off on land. I don't know if I can. Maybe it's got a landing gear. I don't think this thing has a landing gear. I'm pretty sure it's just water. Yeah, the Spruce Goose. That's it. But yeah, holy levers, I know, right? <laughs> Fog man. Full flaps. I hit it too hard. It's alright. Alright, next up. It shows that you can land on a water because normally the second you touch water, like boom. But the problem was I had my skids out and I shouldn't have had my skids out. You pull those out once you come to like a slow and like you put them out. That's why. It's like I was breaking my landing gears off basically. Uh, landing challenge on this? What? Oh man, flight conditions are stormy. Yeah, I'll go back to that after. Uh, so I want to try another plane out. That thing's fun. You can land that on water and land. I've flown it quite a few times. It's a real plane. It's $130,000. Which isn't bad considering what you get. Oh, what? They got the right flow. Oh, what? Oh, hell yeah. I know I will in a second. I just want to try this one really quick. This is fucking funny. They got the Wright Brothers playing. I didn't even see that earlier. I'm going to need an insanely long runway to get that Spruce Goose going. Oh my god. I couldn't even imagine. Maybe it's not the right surface. Maybe I need to be on grass. I can't get enough speed. After boost. Afterburner, baby. Yeah, that's the only thing I can think. I have to be on grass. There we go. Not easy to take off on this thing. The 
It's got no rudder control whatsoever. Alright, balls to the wall, baby. Nope. Yeah, that thing is not fun to fucking skids on this bitch. I know, right? Yeah, I don't know why you take that off on, but I don't think it's fucking pavement. Yeah, let me try to take off from a field. This random field. Fucking hell, this is kids on this bitch. Looks like we're starting in the air at least. There we go. Well, that's something, I guess. It's not really responsive, that's all I'll say. Oh shit. Oh shit. She don't fly very easy. She don't like being tilted. When you tilt her, she, she don't like that. So this is a non-tilting plane, and you only use your rudder that does nothing. Okay, and I've got max throttle going here. So yeah, you see I got little tiny rudders in the back that do absolutely nothing. And when I try to steer it, it just goes into a nosedive. Or it does that. This would be absolutely terrifying. There's no way in fucking hell he would have ever flown this at this height. All those gusts? That's what's pulling me up and down. It's the gusts. Alright, let's see if I can get this puppy back to the airport. Put that landing gear down. Oh, wait, it's already down. This is fucking terrifying. Like, hell no! Look at that thing, just look at it, just working away. Hell no! Oh, I overstressed the aircraft. Okay, that's good. Fuck it, that fucking thing is boring as fuck to fly. Crop duster. Yeah, the, the plane copter I'll do next. As far as I know, the Spruce Goose never had a landing Los gear, Angeles so this Angeles might be a little hard. Yeah. There's your answer. K-1 
KCI, I will. Tower Volocopter Alpha Sierra X Ray Golf Sierra and Runway 27 ready for departure, departing straight out.
pretty straightforward. Batteries for everything, EPU for everything, every motor. seats too. It looks like there's a back seat, but you just can't see it. I don't know, maybe. Kind of a waste just to transport one person or two people. Alright, which direction? I'm eating uh, poutine flavored ruffles. I don't know where that is. Which way do I go? I don't know where the stadium is. I'm going to assume it's that way. Because there's nothing but fields over there. Yeah, there is a back seat. Yeah, it's got to be to my left. Yeah, man, you got that right. When you get the right poutine, it has to be with the right cheese curds, the squeaky ones, and like, man. Bro, you come to Canada, I'll show you a real poutine. Man, this 
thing does not fly fast. Or I'm doing something wrong. Yeah, I got there's gotta be something I'm doing wrong here. be able to open the doors but they got rid of that yeah man poutine's always good you gotta be the right gravy and the right cheese though 100 but I don't know what it is. Besides from doing this. At least I got the speed up. Hell yeah, Raj. Yeah, I don't know where this stadium is that you're talking about, Glass. Of course I live in Canada. You know this. On collision, boom, 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 boom. All right, now we're glass. Shut the fuck up. International Tower Volocopter Alpha Sierra X-ray Golf Sierra Frequency Change. International Approach Volocopter Alpha Sierra X-ray Golf Sierra is okay. like Volocopter Volo City 5 miles south of Kansas City 1,600 feet. 
Request clearance to transition Bravo airspace. Helicopter Alpha Sierra, X-ray Golf Sierra, international approach. Squawk 4534. Squawk 4534, Holocopter X-ray Golf Sierra. Holocopter X-ray Golf Sierra, radar contact 5 miles east of 06 Mike Oscar, 1700 feet. Cleared through the Bravo airspace. Cleared through the Bravo airspace, Holocopter X-ray Golf Sierra. a long way. Yeah, it's just an AI voice, but definitely annoying. I see buildings here. Yeah, no, like I was saying, it's not my headset, it's that cord. But I have a new one showing up in the next couple of days. Now wear glass. I see more buildings. What river is this? International approach Volocopter Alpha Sierra X-ray Golf Sierra is type Volocopter Volo City 5 miles southeast of 06 Mike Oscar 2100 feet. Request flight following. Volocopter Alpha Sierra X-ray Golf Sierra International Approach. Squawk 0347. Squawk 0347 Volocopter X-ray Golf Sierra. Volocopter X-ray Golf Sierra. Roger, Volocopter, X-ray, Golf, Sierra. Got it perfectly level, not climbing, not dropping. Missouri River. Copy that, Raj, man, love. All right, this is what you wanted. This area. What building is that? The one underneath right there in the bottom. This building. What building is that? Looks like a jail. Red buildings. What's that over there on the right? 
right there with the hill and the loop. Looks like a park. Yeah, that looks like a park. I'm going. What's that loop down there on my left? That loop right there. And what's this field underneath me? Looks like a golf course. Yeah, that's a golf course. Alright, am I going the right way? I just passed the golf course. Looks like we got a main interstate down there. Where am I going, Glass? Am I just flying aimlessly? Another interstate here. Crisscrossing interstate. Well, you could have just told me that way back when. I could have just loaded there. land. That thing drops out of the sky like a rock. See where probably somewhere near here. I don't know where Raytown is. pretty far from the airport. You gotta find me something that's closer. Are you by Independence Temple? Are you near there?
international approach Bravo Echo Lima Lima 407 is type 4 miles east of 0 Lima 8 2800 feet. Request flight following. Bravo Echo Lima Lima 407 international approach. Alright, what's this big park over here? Do you know what this park is? Man, we got some big drafts. What's this park? Alright, which way do I go? International Approach Bravo Echo Lima Lima 407 Request clearance to transition Bravo Airspace Bravo Echo Lima Lima 407 International Approach Cleared through the Bravo Airspace Bravo Airspace 407. Yeah, I'd be so sick with VR because you just turn your head and you're looking out the windows. I do have an eye tracker system set up on this where I can turn my head and it's supposed to do that wherever I'm looking at and it's through the camera, but I only ever used it once and it was kind of like Falcon got that for me, but yeah, it's basically a full on eye tracker. So where I'm looking on the screen, it's like moving the mouse or moving the camera. If I look to this way, it literally will just turn the camera for you. But it's annoying when you're trying to focus on one thing and like you look around for a second and then it's just like. There's this right here, four circular buildings. Wow, 
this thing is not easy to fly. Okay, so it's over here somewhere. Is that a prison over there? That definitely looks like a prison. Spin, we're fucked. Yeah, it's all right. CIA. <laughs> <coughs> There's certain buildings in certain uh, areas that just don't have it. We already have fifty ones on here, but that's about it. Uh. I'm gonna do a little bit of landing shit. stuff I'm doing. So, I gotta go back. And I want a big jet. Calabria, Italy. Interesting. Switzerland. Dusseldorf, Palermo, Italy. Okay. Cairo. I've done Cairo a few times actually. I've flown around uh, the towers and 160, 150, 140 runway 25. So that means it's at heading Break. How do I pause again? Oh god damn it. I don't know this plane yet. I don't remember the settings or where everything's at. <coughs> yeah, I'm not worried about it. I just want to find my buttons. Okay, that's what I wanted right there. Auto brakes on. Alright. Gonna reboot this. 
this. <coughs> yeah, I know the cockpit of almost all the other ones, but this one I barely know. center and there's a crosswind that's the other thing this isn't just like a straight on come in and land there's a crosswind pushing me Come on, stay on the runway. That was a rough landing, but that's all right. Restart. Yeah, the fucking crosswind pushing me the fucking whole time. It's annoying. Crosswind is like fuck. This should be a much better one. All right, 150. I'm right where I need. Oh, 
nice and gentle slow or glide path it, it's pushing me now so I gotta use the rudder to correct and keep it straight while I'm turning into it it's hard to monitor my airspeed when I'm fucking looking over the dash like that but yeah it's pushing me Come on. Yeah, this crosswind is nasty. Come on. Nice and gentle there. Cut it. Come on. Set her down. Return. There we go. Nice and gentle. Much better. Uh, all right. I could have stopped that way earlier, but whatever. I know you need a full book to see out of the cockpit. It was alright. Alright, then next up. Fucking strong winds. Alright, you know what? No, I'm gonna go back. to see the glide path. I don't even know where this airport's at. I think I see it up there, but... It's an epic one. It's a short runway and it's a hard approach. 
I already see it's over there on my left. I see the tower flashing. That's beautiful. I'm gonna wait till I see, okay, I see it. Now I see it, I gotta line up over this way. big airports here, man. Pearson's one of the biggest airports in the world. That one's really hard to land on. Fuck, man. Look how tiny that airport, watch, I'll show you. It's like the world's fucking shortest runway. You're landing pretty much at stall speed. You got a touchdown right at the beginning. That's it. You don't have any other fucking choice. This is with a King Air turbo prop, I believe. Thirty into one oh five, but really you gotta be doing like a hundred when you land. Otherwise you go off the end of the runway. telling me Copy that. 
It's MKCI, by the way, and I did fly out of there earlier. Gotta keep my speed, like, right where I need it. And line up my approach. I got this. Storm. Boom. That's the shortest landing I've ever done on that. Ever. Wow. I can't believe I actually did that. That fuck. Wow. I stalled at the last second. If I would have landed right on the marker, that would have been an amazing score, but I'll take it. I don't think there's any more big jets on this one, aside from the ones I've done already. That one's almost impossible to find the fucking airport. Oh, look, Jared. Ah, oh, the joystick's right here on the side. It's just because the angle I'm sitting at and the chair I'm using, I can't really put it right in front of me. Uh, but yeah, I'll do that. Where is that at? Do you know where that's at? Oh wow, what an approach. Coming at 100, 100, 110, 100, and then just drop my speed, and that's a steep angle approach. Okay. Oh wow, it's right there. They don't even fuck around. Just guessing. Where the fuck did the airport? Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh wow. Wow, that's a terrifying landing. Woo! Yeah, I came in way too steep on that. Yeah, I know, right? I feel you, Raj. Alright, I gotta go way out.
Alright, now I can nail this. We got it down, we got it down, we got it down. Man, that was scary. Holy fuck. Woo! Yeah, that was, that was a little scary, I ain't gonna lie. Approach around the mountain. 170 into 160, 150. that view because then One I can time. see all right it looks up but I'm off come on give me four whites all right pull back on that speed yeah I'm off center fucking hell way off come on correct there we go Way low. Glide slope is bad. Two hundred. There we go. Correcting. Correcting. One hundred six fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Retard. It's all right.
Not bad. Sixty, one fifty in the curve, one forty in the straight. Two seven, all right. I could cheat and just set my heading automatically to that, but it's all right. straight on approach. supposed to be aiming for, but all right. I'm assuming it's this one right here. Light slope is good. Come on, man. Light up the poppies. Light up the poppy. Give me all whites. This is my runway. Might be. No, it's not. Nice and gentle landing, though. Yeah, it's all good. I think I'm going to call it here in a second, anyways. I'm getting tired. Let's see what else. 
else there is. Out scaries. Whatever the fuck that is. I've done this one. That one you have to go around and then come in on this little like. It's weird. to finish. I'll try it once in and once out. I want to try to do, I think it's harder doing the external landing on this than it is internal. Even the slightest movement. Definitely high. It's right when you get to the end, you like your speed, like it's hard to keep the nose up and keep the speed right where you need it. That's well, alright, last try. We're going external on this. Better to be high and have to correct down than to be low and slow.
Come on, catch. Yes! Save me. Save me. No. Oh, wow. That's the first time I've seen that. Alright, I gotta try that one more time. That's the first time I've ever seen it hook and pull off. Keep it right there with the speed break because that keeps my speed right where I want it. Oh, beautiful. It's a steep approach until you get to it. <laughs> last try I'm determined I mean I've already landed it inside quite a few times but yeah the external is even harder fuck it go back to internal I basically just got to aim this crosshair right up on the fucking deck to get the right angle. But I also got to be lined up. too high. Got it. Boom shaka laka baby. That's how it's done. I definitely wanted to see the external view on that, but whatever. Anyways, that's it for me. I'm getting fucking tired. But it was fun. We'll do this again soon, folks. Okay, there's a bonus if I don't set power back till MIL upon touchdown. Interesting. Base multiplier for catching wire three. That's okay, that takes severe, like, I can't be doing that from inside the cockpit, but 
Basically, uh, there's a few other things they have in here. Um, they have these discovery flights where you can fly all over and, like, you see the pyramids or, like, the Jesus statue. Naples. I haven't done that one yet. That one's new. Bora Bora. Tokyo, Japan. That's new. Mount Fuji. That's new. I haven't done any of these. Yosemite. Like, these are all brand new. But yeah, you can see they've got a lot of stuff. When Nikki's on next, I'll do that. He'll know where that is. We got the cathedral in Barcelona. Berlin, like it looks fucking amazing, man. The Gold Coast, Australia, Grand Canyon, Madrid, Montreal. Okay, interesting. Perth, Australia, Melbourne, Rome, Italy. The I haven't seen all of the. Wow, there's a lot of new ones in here. Toronto. Wow, they even got Toronto in there. Mecca. Sing it. Wow, interesting. Definitely interesting. Let's give this a real quick try for a quick second. Fuck it. Yeah, it'll only take a second. The only thing I hate about... Oh, I'm getting off in a second glass. The only thing I hate about gliders is it's never silent unless you're dead straight. Or you're only going up or down a meter or two. If you're going any more up, like when you're going up, it's like beep, 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 beep. Then when you're going down, it'll do the same thing. It'll be like beep, 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 beep. Watch. Just watch. You're going to hear it. There's here. Oh, wow. They show you the air currents. Beep, 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 and then look. Boop, 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 But yeah, as you can see, it's really not quiet. I miss flying glider, man. It's fun. I've done this a few times when I was younger. I got my glider's license through Air Cadets after several lessons. dead silence. I wish there was a way to turn that off. It's really not hard to fly a glider though.
go. Beautiful up here. This is basically how you gain altitude. You ride the ridges and you just keep going in circles to go higher and higher, but I'm not hitting the right ridge right now for that. I need to go further over. It's so like, it's relaxing, but you gotta think, you can't just fly. You gotta be like, all right, where am I gonna go that's gonna keep me going? Like just flying it is one thing, but learning how to like make it climb is a complete different. Gonna hit 
get this ridge up here. Yeah, this, oh yeah, this is gonna be a good one. Yeah, this is what I needed. Oh yeah, baby. Boop, 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 boop. right there that's like mega air come on you can see the ridge to climb up I can get it to 4,000, but it's hard to get it any higher. I don't want to stall. It's like just finding that one sweet spot right here. Come on. to do is get it over this hill. Oh, come on. Don't. No, no, no. Oh, no. Ooh, gust hit me. Ooh, that was scary. Yeah, I guess I'll ride it this way. I just want to see if I can get to the top of the peak. Come on. Look at that, there's a, somebody built something down there. It's 
like a little monastery hidden in the woods. See me getting up there today. I'll try to ride whatever current I can when it's landed. It's not easy. Try to catch this one. That's the thing with gliders, you gotta be so patient and so just like, take your time. A nice crest, though. breeze across here.
Not what I expected, but okay. for a bumpy one. I got it. I got it in the loop. It's a small climb, but it'll do. I'm just taking a quick look at this for one second, then I'm done. I'm getting fucking tired. Nice little plane. feel like the kind of plane that you can just roll. But I could be wrong. know we're going to land this puppy on the beach. Nirang River. Q. 
one tower. Sworn I turned the throttle off, but how well she does on the water. Woo, just skimmed her. Bounce the first time. Yeah, Gold Coast, buddy. Yeah, definitely I'll do it next time, man. But yeah, I'm done now. Mad love to all y'all tuning in once again. Appreciate y'all watching the stream. Appreciate y'all being part of the community. Appreciate y'all being part of everything. Mad love to everybody who tuned in once again, whether you're watching now for the first time, whether you're returning, whether you're brand new or not. My channel is brought to you by viewers like you. So please do hit that subscribe, like, and share down there. That bell up there. Never miss a show. Get your dose of PlayStation 5, PC, chill and chat, road trip, travel, and a lot more to come. 
Mad love to everybody. Have yourself a great day, great night, and stay frosty. We'll catch you guys all tomorrow.